tonight on the ground and in the air. Normandy is celebrating and remembering the thousands who fought here 80 years ago. For many of those men, now in their 90s and 100s, the memories are crystal clear. It looked like every ship and boat and the world was right out there. This was to be the longest day. June 6, 1944, D-Day. The Allied invasion had begun. The U.S. and its allies stormed the beaches of Normandy, breaking through Nazi defenses, a massive assault that would lead to Allied victory. Now, eight decades later, veterans reuniting here, likely for the last time. Looking back at letters they wrote. Dear Mom, just a few lines to tell you we are all okay. Diaries they kept. Cruising off the beach, infantry ashore. And mementos they saved for all these years. What's this? That's a piece of shrapnel. Just right here. 99 year old Ben Miller was a medic, and at 19 years old, one of just a few thousand carried to Normandy in gliders. I don't know who it is. He's looking for the place his glider crashed. They were not experienced pilots, but they. They glided as best they could. Ben landed near St. Marie Eglise, considered to be the first town liberated by Americans, where he treated injured paratroopers. Today, he returned for the first time, meeting locals, including Andre Avri, who was here that day, 18 years old and nine months pregnant. Uh, it was my pleasure to meet different people <laughs> and see how they recovered through it all. And for them being so kind to us. The greatest generation still reminding the rest of us about the true meaning of heroism and sacrifice. Kelly Kobieya, NBC News, Normandy. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.